Hey guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to my channel, to my wonderland and to another coffee time together. So today I have for you a sweet and short video. This is my spoiler free review of The Lodge. It's coffee time. So I watched this movie during the Film Fantasy Festival and that was back in September but I have waited a little bit to upload this um, review because the movie is originally coming out in November. So this movie was so great and the reason why I'm making a spoiler free review is because it is a movie that it's best if you go into it not knowing too much and so I decided that making a spoiler free review would be nice for everybody if they want to know what the movie is about but without any spoilers and then you can go and watch the movie and enjoy. So Veronica Franz and Severine Fiala have teamed up again to direct this movie. They already worked together um, in another movie that it's called Goodbye Mommy and in Germany it's called Ise Ise and they did that one completely in German. It is currently available in Netflix in Germany right now. I'm not sure if where you live it's available. And this is the second time that they have teamed up to do a movie which is another weird slash disturbing movie as their first collaboration was. The Lush is a 2019 American slash British Hammer movie and the release date is the 15th of November. The film generally has received really good feedback, really good critics and they all praise the acting and the horror elements that the movie has and it's trying, trying to kind of portray the evil that is inside each one of us and who can you trust and who can you not trust. Now let's try to summarize the plot and keeping it completely spoiler free. Basically we're following two kids that are going through, um, you know, the dad dating a new woman. So they are not really taking it that great. They don't like their new stepmom and they are adopting. So the dad decides that it would be a great bonding experience to go for Christmas to these cabin in the middle of nowhere and have like a nice family Christmas time and see if the new girlfriend you know can bond a little bit better with his children so they go to this cabin and the father has to go for a couple of days to finish some work so the stepmom is left alone there with the two children and then there is this snow uh, storm there is this blizzard and they're completely incommunicated and when this happens they start also to realize that in this old house there are some secrets that are being uncovered and seems that something is hunting them. So the casting was on point. The kid that we see here is the same actor that plays Billy Denborough in the It uh, new movies, uh, you know, the kid version, obviously. And all characters were amazing. This is a very small cast. Like most of the movie, like 99% of the movie, you're following only four characters, the stepmother, the dad, and the two children. So they had to carry the whole weight of the movie, especially the stepmom and the kids. And the work that they did was amazing. It was so believable. It was so creepy. And especially the children to be involved in such a movie that it's so weird, disturbing and complicated. It must have been such a challenge. But Riley, who plays Grace, who is the stepmother that has the biggest transition, transformation in this movie, she did such an amazing job. You were so into her character and I don't know, I think the the whole cast was just so great and it's what one of the things that makes this movie so amazing for me. I know I'm praising this movie a lot and maybe not everybody is going to love it as much as I did, but I don't know, for me it was just a perfect movie. Things that I loved about this movie that I can tell you about without uh, spoiling anything is that I loved that this was a slow burn kind of horror movie but it gave you a couple of twists that left you really like what the fuck is going on 
and it makes you question yourself a lot of things which I think is great when movies make you question things when you're not sure where things are going what just happened where you are not even sure what's real what's not real you know I absolutely love when movies make me think and they kind of go out of the box to shock the audience and it's not just the basic ABC horror movie so I absolutely love that from this movie also um, because nearly the whole movie was shot in this uh, house in the middle of nowhere I think that they did an amazing job by utilizing every room and it never feels repetitive which is something super easy to do when you have a movie that takes place mostly in one space but this movie was shot from different angles uh, from different perspectives and it made the movie interesting and engaging the whole time even if you were trapped in the same house which also made it in a way for the audience to feel that they were trapped as the family was in this house because they could not leave because of the blizzard and I also love that it gives you this feeling, like I said, where you don't know where things are going. So nobody is 100% evil, nobody is 100% good. Everything is open to interpretation and things shift all the time. And I love that character exploration so much. And I think it's a great exploration of the evil inside of the humans. If you loved movies like The Witch or Hereditary, Midsummer, all these kind of movies that are really dark and different and make you think you'll definitely love this movie it's one of those movies that when you leave the theater you're still thinking about it and you know days after the movie I was still thinking about it I was still thinking about the end I was still thinking about the characters so I absolutely loved it how many times have I say I loved it in this video? Um, just rewind back to the beginning and take a shot every time I say I love it. You're welcome. So I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. I know it is a very high rating and this is probably very subjective, but it had everything that makes a great horror movie. It was new in it, it shocked me. I was not expecting things. It had great acting, great atmosphere, the music was amazing, um, they utilized the whole house in a way that it never got boring. So that's why I'm gonna give this movie a 9 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic and definitely a movie that I am going to buy as soon as it comes out in a physical form because I want to have this one for my collection and rewatch it. It's one of those movies that once you've watched it, you can rewatch it and see things from a different perspective. So I absolutely wait for it. Love that. And so, yeah, definitely recommend anybody that loves unconventional horror movies to give this one a try. So you guys, this was my short but sweet uh, spoiler-free review of the movie The Lodge coming to theaters on the 15th of November so go watch it if you have the chance and then come back to this video let me know if you loved it or not hopefully you do thanks so much for watching you guys I really appreciate your support feel also free to let me know in the comments if there's any specific horror movie old or new that you want me to watch and review because I can definitely do that as well uh, thanks so much for your support as always give the video a big thumbs up Subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber yet and hit on that notification bell. If you have Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, my links to those social media can be found in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all in the next cover time. Bye!